In today's episode of Music Without Theory, we're going to talk about singing a cappella. It's so hard to say goodbye. Where a cappella originated from, the benefits of singing a cappella, and how a cappella is used in music today. In music, the term a cappella means to sing without musical accompaniment. Although it's hard to say when a cappella first began because technically humming along to yourself is singing a cappella. The style is thought to have gained popularity through religious music during the 15th century. In fact, the word cappella literally translates to chapel in Italian. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Learning to sing a cappella can be a great way to train your ear. Singing a cappella requires vocalists to use their own musical ear and muscle memory to find the correct timing and pitch rather than relying on musical accompaniment. You can practice this by always finding the root note before you start to sing and checking back in with the recording after a while to see if you're on the right track. Gain independence and confidence in your singing practice. By not relying on the musical accompaniment and by trusting in your own ability, after a lot of practice you'll get to a place where you feel super confident and you won't have to rely on checking back in with the recording anymore. Practice collaboration. In a cappella groups, each individual singer needs to master their own section in order for the whole ensemble to gel and perform smoothly together. Since a cappella emerged during the Renaissance period, it's taken many different forms, such as doo-wop. Doo-wop is an a cappella style of rhythm and blues that was very, very popular in the 1950s and 60s. Doo-wop groups usually consist of a lead singer who sings the main melody line and a trio or quartet that would sing the harmonies. The term doo-wop comes from phrases sung by the groups to provide vocal accompaniment for the lead singer. Doo-wop, doo-wop, doo-wop. Another style of a cappella that you might have heard of is barbershop. Barbershop is a style that was very popular in America between 1900s and 1920s. Groups were known as barbershop quartets and they would sing in four part harmonies. So three vocals would be harmonizing to the melody of a fourth voice. These quartets were traditionally all male or all female. One of the best things about a cappella is that it can easily be transferred to any style of music. Some of the most well-known songs use a cappella. Take the brilliant Don't Worry Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin. Cuckoo to cuckoo, don't worry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, be happy. Released in 1988, this was the first a cappella song to reach the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and it peaked at number two in the UK. Another great example is Boys to Men's rendition of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Nowadays, elements of a cappella can be found in almost any music genre. If you're interested in experimenting with a cappella, why not try? Checking out our recent video about finding harmony. It's filled with tips and tricks about how to harmonize. Practicing songs a cappella at home. Just make sure you find the root note before you start singing. Or joining your local a cappella group. Most schools and colleges have these now. Many of today's popular artists are alumni of college a cappella groups, like John Legend, a former member of Counterparts, and Sarah Bareilles, a former member of Awaken. Thanks for watching this video. If you have a favorite song that uses a cappella, please share it in the comments because I always love listening to this kind of stuff. And I will see you next time.